Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mansion 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a basic FPS bunny hop. So in this I'll show you what we've got. So I'm going to hit play. You can see in the top left we have the player's current speed. So you're going to be able to see that going up as we're bunny hopping. So if I just move around and I'm jumping around, you can see that in the top left corner our FPS is actually increasing. Not FPS, sorry, our speed. So as we jump and we bunny hop around, our speed is going to increase and it should max out at 1200 and again you can change the increase increment you can also change the speed it maxes out at this is very customizable and easy to do and also if we stop bunny hopping the speed is going to go back down to our default which for me is 600 and again you can change absolutely anything that you want in this code it's very easy to modify so without further ado this is what we're going to be making today so let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it so the first step is we want to open up our character blueprint which for me is the first person character in the FPS template. What I've done as well is over here you should have your jump inputs. What I've done is I've deleted that, or well, actually what I did was I modified it, but we're essentially just going to delete it as it's quite a big change. So you'll probably have jump input action, jump, stop jumping, just get rid of that. Then go down and find some empty space, right click and get to the jump action mapping again, so action event, jump there. Now instead of press jump and release stop jumping, we want to do something different. So we're going to hold down B and left click to get a branch going into the pressed. The condition we want to see if we're already jumping because we don't want to be able to increase our speed while we're already jumping. So we're going to drag and drop in a reference to our character movement. Out of this we're going to get is falling or just is falling sorry. So is falling there and out of the return value I'm just going to get a not boolean plug that into the condition so we come out of true. So if we are not falling meaning we are not jumping. So that is going to work perfectly for me. Out of the true of this, we want to call jump, so the function which we already have of jumping. So if we're not already jumping, the character can then jump. And then after this, we want to then increase our max walk speed. So increasing the player's speed. So we're going to once again, drag and drop a reference to our character movement in here. Out of this, we're going to set max walk speed, as that is the speed for our player character. Then to increase this, what I'm going to do is again get the character movement up here and out of this I'm going to get the max walk speed, and so that's what we're increasing, we want to get it and out of this I'm then going to get a float plus a float because obviously we're increasing it and I'm going to increase this by let's say 50. You can change this to whatever you want, so you can increase it by 2, 25, 10, 50, absolutely anything you want but just for the purpose of the tutorial so it does it quite quickly I'm going to be doing 50 but you might want that value as well and then out of the return value of that I'm going to get a clamp float the minimum is 0 maximum as 1200 so that way the max speed won't go above 1200 so again set that to whatever you want as well so I don't want the player to be going any faster than the speed of 1200 while they're bunny hopping and the way I got that value was I just doubled the normal walking speed so for me the normal walking speed is 600 so I just doubled that to get the max speed I want for bunny hopping but again, set that to be whatever you want. So you might want it to be 700, 2000, 2200, anything like that. Set it to what you want. The return value of that is going to go into the set max walk speed there. So it's very, very simple. What we've got so far is already two places you can customize. So essentially, if we're not already jumping and we press space or press our jump button, we're going to jump. And we're going to increase our walk speed, so our player's speed, to be the current speed, plus 50, which again, you can set to whatever you want maxing it out at 1200 which again you can set to whatever you want as well now very simple to reset the speed when we stop jumping what i'm going to do is we can do this off of event movement mode changed however i don't want to do that i want to do it slightly differently because event movement mode changed means we can spend as long as we want in the air i don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is out of released i'm going to get a re-triggerable delay and it's re-triggerable because that means if we fire this off again so we jump again within the time limit it's going to restart and I'm going to set the duration to be about 0.8 you can set this to whatever you want I found 0.7 and 0.8 was kind of like the final cutoff so that's kind of how fast you need to be and again you can set this to whatever you want so one second to give the player a bit more time anything that you choose really and then out of this character movement reference we have here we're going to once again set the max walk speed I'm going to set this to be my default speed of 600 but again set that to whatever you want it to be for me that's 600 and then after this, we're going to call the function of stop jumping. So then we then stop jumping. Obviously, you don't need to have that, but it's just good to have it in there as well anyway. And that's the code done. It's very, very simple. So when we jump, 
if we're not already jumping, we're going to jump, increase our speed to be the current speed, plus a certain amount, capping out at another certain amount. And then when we land, if we don't jump again quick enough, we're going to set the max walk speed back to our default and stop jumping. But if we do jump again within the default time, this will reset and it will increase our speed again. So that's a very simple basic way of doing bunny hopping. So essentially, you have to keep jumping within a certain amount of time to increase the player speed. So we'll compile, save, I'll hit play and I'll test this out for you. So again, I've got the speed up in the top left. If we jump around, you can see that's increasing 600, 650, 700. It's going up by 50 each time as that's what I set it as. And you can see the player is actually moving faster as well. And it's gonna cap out at 1200 once again, like so. And then if I stop jumping, you see it reset back down to 600. So that works perfectly. And again, you can increase this value here to give your player a bit more time. So I set it to one second, we have a bit more time to do all of this stuff like so. But again, you can see it's only going back up once we jump on the floor. And then once I stop, it's gonna go back down to 600. So you saw on that one, there's a little bit more time after we stop jumping. That's just because I increased this delay. So I'm gonna set it back down to 0.8. But that is the code done. So I think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set up a bunny hop system in which we simply can just keep jumping around the level to increase the player's max speed. And then once we stop jumping, the speed's gonna go back down to default. And this does work perfectly for us. Again, it's very easy to customize and add on to this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.